Hey guys, what's up? This is Matthew Davis Media. Once again, welcome back to another movie review, aka After I Saw. If you saw my last video, I went to go and see Tully. That's right, the new drama comedy film um, that apparently a lot of people have been talking about, saying it's funny and uh, stuff like that, very heartfelt. And um, I was actually really interested in checking this one out, and uh, for that, I did uh, check it out. So Tully is basically about this mother played by Charlize Theron who has three kids. Um, originally she had two, but then later on to the movie she has a baby girl, and uh, stuff has gotten really hard for her ever since she had her newborn. She, you know, the baby keeps waking her up. She's very tired. She's very stressed, and um, uh, her son basically she has a lot of issues with her son. But, uh, like, um, him being at school and stuff. So, basically, uh, she gets a nanny by the name of Tully. And she takes care of the house a lot uh, with her. And she takes care of her baby a lot. And, basically, that's the main plot of the movie. Now, basically, I thought that was mainly what the film was going to be about. But, it's actually a lot smarter than I thought it would. This film raises will raise a lot of eyebrows and will raise a lot of questions like what is it about uh Tully's character that makes it interesting like there are parts in the movie that I were that I was like what what I, I don't get that like I don't get that at all so, uh sorry I was um, um anyways um but then further into the movie it was all like it really has you like it's basically kind of like a thinking movie a little bit. It's uh, a film you definitely need to focus on in order to fully get your answer, basically. And that's one thing that I really like about this movie. It It's more than just, oh, it's a movie about uh, um, uh, someone taking care of someone else's kids because uh, the mother feels stressed out. No, it's much more to that. Like... No spoilers, by the way, but it's really just... I was really surprised of how well this movie was made out to be. It isn't like one... It's like it's not like another film. It, it doesn't really... It, it's basically a chick flick. But to me, I didn't feel like I was watching a chick flick. I felt like I was watching a character movie. A film that focuses on uh, the mother a lot. In fact, the movie is basically about her, not really Tully. But, uh, in fact, uh, she isn't really in the movie that much. We don't really see her until, like, 30 minutes into the film. And, um, when we do, uh, know, it's just a film that you just gotta watch for yourself. It's certainly a film, I think the film has come out kinda on the right time, um, but, you know, of course, we still got Avengers, um, this came out a week after Avengers, but this is definitely a film to see on Mother's Day, because this is really a film that I think a lot of mothers will really enjoy, because they all pretty much relate to the movie. And, um, basically, I was really driven into Charlize Theron's character. Like, she does a phenomenal job in this, and I think she has a really Oscar-worthy performance in this. As well as uh, Mackenzie, uh, the woman who played Tully. I forgot what her last name was. I think I might have recognized her in other films. I just don't think I can remember. But yeah. You know, after watching this movie, I was deeply surprised of how much I really enjoyed it. Now, as for issues, there a lot of the scenes are shot with... Uh, Basically, people holding the camera like it's really noticeable. Like, there's some shaky can moments, which was a little bit distracting for me, but not too much. And, um, I could have sworn there was... Um, also, there was a, there are a couple scenes, or technically just one part in particular, that really confused me. Like, uh, like... But really. But, um... Really, what more, what more can I say about this movie? The dialogue is just very well written here. And, uh, like, it's just, it just has some really entertaining dialogue. It has some really entertaining, like, funny lines and some very, like, powerful lines in the film. You know, Charlie Theron gives definitely what I think is one of her best in quite a long time. I, I mean, don't get me wrong, she's been in some amazing movies. Mad Max Fury Road, I really enjoyed her in Atomic Blonde. 
I really liked her voice work in uh, Kubo and the Two Strings. She's been in a lot of really fantastic movies, and this is certainly up there with them. Um, another minor issue I had was um, some of the editing in it. I, th I thought some of the parts could have been edited just a little bit better, but for the most part, most of the editing is pretty spot on for the most part. Um, and certainly the last 10 minutes will, 10 or 15 minutes will certainly have you like on the edge of your seat knowing like what's basically going on. So yeah, overall Tully is a remarkable, is a remarkable film that was a lot better than I was hoping it would be. Like it has some really spot on performances from Charlize Theron and Mackenzie. I, I still can't remember her last name, but she did a phenomenal job as Tully and, um, I could say the ending, I was certainly satisfied with the way it ended. Like, it measured everything out, like, what was basically happening. Because it really is more of a thinking film and more of a character-driven movie than just some than just some chick flick. Like, uh... So, yeah, definitely check this one out. I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 5. I was thinking about giving it a 4 out of 5, but it's just one of those films that will really stick with you a bit more and... I'm going to give it a half star or a bit more. So yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, next weekend, um, I'm going to be seeing that new film, that new thriller, uh, Breaking In. Uh, I'm really hoping that movie isn't awful. But uh, anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Word out.